Hello friends, this is Praveen and so as we are continuing our news feeder project and we have already seen how to download RSS feed from any news website like we used Indian Express and we started getting this feed my title my link so we were just printing on a screen and now what we would like to do we would like to insert these title and link and if you want you can insert any other item also in our Mongo database so I have got one MongoDB database here and here you can search show DBS so two databases are here local and test which I'm not using right now so I would like to create another database named as MyDB and in that database I would like to create news feeder collection and that collection will actually contain these title and link as documentation okay so let us see how you can do that and in pom.xml i have already provided this uh, dependency for mongo java driver so we can use this api it's very easy to implement you see i'm creating another class and as mongo feed finish so this also I would like to keep as application scope import and here so I would like to we we need to establish connection with Mongo data database so using Mongo client we can establish collection uh, sorry connection and then I would like to create one method get collection method and that method will accept a string and that uh, that string will be used for creating collection in your database so collections are like uh, your general table as if you compare with uh, RDBMS so uh, equivalent to tables although this is mongodb is documented oriented database so it's not uh, correct to say tables so uh, but uh, you can imagine you can compare it with your regular tables so uh, first of all we would like to have an object mongo client object client so as you can see com.mongodb has got mongo client and now in constructor i can provide information about connection so what we can do client new mongo client so this mongo client either you can use mongo client or you can use mongo client uri so mongo client you can use for your local host and mongo client uri you can specify with your ip address and particular port number then it will be used for establishing connection so for this example i am using mongo client uri and that i would like to supply into mongo client Sorry. mongo client uri so this mongo client uri will accept as uri as a string so i'm giving mongodb localhost and the default port is 27017 two So let us import this Mongo URI, client URI, it's fine.
so we have created one constructor we have created one class we have created one mongo client object and we have created one constructor so this constructor is actually providing uri so now for creating collection we can we can create another method get collection so i'm um, keeping it as public and it will return as collection and i'm naming it get collection so this method we'll use in our feed reader class so here you can provide name you can import this db collection and this will return now what we can do we can use this client this client has got one method that is get db so get db method this we can use so in get db method you can provide your name of database so it will create database with this name so i'm giving my db so now using client we have got database and this you can use for get collection so now you can see get collection collection is accepting a string and it is returning db collection so this we would like to use so whatever name you are supplying here that will be used for the name of your collection and this method will return collection fine so that's it this is ready so now we can use this mongo feed object and using this mongo feed we can actually using this mongo feed object we uh, using this collection we can insert data we are creating database we are creating collection now we can insert actual data into that so what we would like to do in feed reader so instead of doing this system out dot print ln we have got entry dot get get link and entry dot get title so instead of printing it on our screen what we would like to do we would like to insert into mongo database so first we can have this object so private mongo feed and you can name it uh, feed db since feed we have already used so i am using feed db and you can provide inject scope Add inject and you can import this fine now we have got mongodb object feed db and I'm I'm making it as comment mm. let us change this so I can 
we can create collection now so our feed db has got one method that is get collection so in get collection you can supply name in a string so i'm supplying news feed okay now th since this feed db dot cal get collection returns a database collection so we can create we can store that object in db collection and you can import this db collection here so this news feed news feed is giving us db collection collection and this we can use for appending information so now there is one more thing basic db object so using basic db, basic db object we would like to insert our data object basic db object and i just say it as data new basic db we can import this basic db object it is in com.mongodb basic db object and this data we can directly append data dot append and as you can see this data dot append is accepting your key and value so this document this mongodb document you can insert as your key and value so it looks like json but uh, technically it's not actual json so here we can provide link i would like to put as link and object this actual downloading object so this we can use so let us make it link so i'm just naming it link and the actual value we can get this value so entry dot get link now we'll go into database fine so another thing we need to insert get title now we can here we can do one thing we can avoid uh, the duplicates if we have already put data we can check that using find method and already if that data exists then we can avoid that situation of inserting it again so i'm giving that condition if collection dot find one so collection dot find one is not equals to null and that data that link if we have already inserted then we would not like to continue so you can give continue keyword here it means it will uh, run uh, it it won't execute uh, another statement it it will uh, it will restart to loop so continue otherwise you can insert title also so using link we can check uh, whether it exists or not so this collection dot find one method will uh, actually search out if it exists so if link doesn't exist then only we proceed will proceed to insert title insert image of that particular url so next you can give data dot append data is my basic object 
data dot append and this time you can give title and this we can use entry dot title fine and let me comment these let me save this so our data dot append is ready data object is ready now what we can do we can perform the actual insert task using collections method so collection is a collection object database uh, db dot collection object and this has got one method that is insert method so this we can use so since you can see this insert is accepting db object so this db object our db object is data this we can supply fine so I'm saving it so this collection dot insert will actually perform will will perform the task of insertion and this we have seen so we created feed db object and we provided this new feed db as a string and we code this get collection method this is giving us collection and in using a for each loop instead of printing it on a screen we are using basic object using basic object we are actually collecting this uh, data dot append create this is key this is value and if key exist if key doesn't exist it is not null then only we'll insert other items related to that particular key so if you see this application is running and if I check show DB now you can see this my DB is created here and let us see the value so value you can see DB dot my DB dot sorry db dot news feed dot find mm, sorry we have to say my db and then we can run this command so now you can see db dot news feed has got these different feeds so same Israeli guard short knife wedding Palestinian woman and all these news you can see it created now I hope you like this video so if you like this tutorial this sort of tutorial then please subscribe and please click on like button and we'll continue this project we'll develop it and using rest API we would like to consume this mongodb collection so this mongodb uh, documents you can use whether for your android application or for your java e application we can we can further improve this project okay so thanks for watching